Look who I'm with today, everybody. Welcome to another video with a very familiar face. <laughs> Hello. I can't speak too loud. Hi, guys. I'm right here. I still can't speak very, very loudly. First time we see each other since my operation. Yes. I'm there trying we go. not to speak. Okay, so you're joining me in my so feel for you. Okay, I yeah, see what you mean. Right. Now, Mass just contacted me, said you need to come. I have something to show you. I have no idea what you've got in store. Um, but I guess we're all going to find out together. It's a surprise. By the way, I like the mask which is matching the trousers. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Very classy. Yes. It's also <laughs> matching your telephone. Oh, it is? is it? It's green. Oh, yeah. Hey, oh, God, you notice that. Hey, how are you? <laughs> how are you doing? <laughs> a weird turn of events. Masood hands me the keys to his Porsche, which I am now in, driving. Hands me the keys to his Porsche, goes, Go to the minus two on this uh, in this car park, take the Porsche, and I'll see you at the port at this spot. We always go and take photos of cars. So first of all, it feels very odd to be driving a um, uh, to be driving a Turbo S. But now that I've got one, you guys can probably notice that this one is very loud. It's got the Quicksilver exhaust and the X pipe on it. But what we're going to go do at the port? What mass is going there in? What? Why am I taking this and all, everything? I have no clue. So uh, yeah, we're going to completely kind of discover that one together. But there's a lot of car spotters out today. Anyways, absolutely lovely to be back in this thing. It, it is a very, very nice spec, this. I did really consider um, offering to buy this one off the suit when I was considering mine, but I think my spec suits me a little bit better. Um, and I don't know if I've done already, if you guys have seen already a video where I go over the full spec, I haven't done it yet, of mine, and I'll point out some of the things that this has that mine doesn't, that mine has that this doesn't. There you go. Anyway, no idea what we're in for today. We'll discover it together. One of the first weird things with this is uh, that, well, weird things, just I'm used to the Alcantara steering wheel now in mine a little bit because I have done, I think, 1,100 or 1,200 kilometers of mine. This has the leather steering wheel. A little different, but you do notice it. I don't know, each are very nice. And then the carbon seats, which look awesome, but aren't quite as uh, comfortable as the seats I've got in mine. Anyways, those are all just basically uh, down to personal taste, those things. But yeah, anyways, we're nearly at the, well, we're at the port, but the spot where we're going is up there, and let's see what we're in for. Um, so I've just arrived. Was parked up. What is going on? Okay, straight into park. Let's go find my suit. I need an explanation. I, I, I have no idea what's going on anymore. This one's got keyless go and turbo S there. Anyway, what? What is going on? I have so many questions for you right now. In English or in French? <laughs> or we can do English now if you like. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know. Well, is it? Have you bought it? Yeah. No way. Yeah, and you bought and you. Congratulations. Bought the US, no? uh, well, okay. So have this is going to be a I'm discussion. The invoice. Have you paid me? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I'll never pay you in full. I'm going to cut your leg off. Okay. Well, I've got and two. Then, I'm going to tie something to you and throw you in the sea, and we'll see how long you last in there. That is slightly terrifying. <laughs> Dude, this thing is so sick. Okay, we've, we've spoken about this. Yeah, but no, I haven't nice bought it, it, unfortunately. Uh, it's nice to see it clean, I would say. It just came back from Barcelona. Yeah, yeah very cool. It went on the circuit of Catalonia, so Barcelona. Uh, 80 laps, running a strong 205. So, you know, me buying a Turbo S, because yeah. I think at this point, when this video comes out, the audience has seen my Turbo S, yeah. is completely your fault. I know, and <laughs> I think buying a Turbo S was also completely my fault. Yeah. For myself. Yeah. Because it, sense, but it is one, just one of the best cars. Yeah, out there. yeah. And, and you know, uh, I'm sure by now you know, Seb, I've done probably 10,000 kilometers in this car since I got it, and I've mm. gone everywhere, like really everywhere. And it's set up in a way that it's just. It's, it's. I, I will regret the day I'm going to sell it. It's not going just yet, it will be for sale. And yeah. if anyone is interested, I'm gonna put the link. Yeah. Well, not under. even the link. Email Seb. Seb will put down yeah. an email. Yeah. Yeah. And I rather do it that way. Yeah. Uh, Perfect. Because uh, yeah, I trust Seb. But this is this is the. I mean, okay. So let's do this. Yeah, yeah. Wait, You'll explain about that after. Okay. Let's talk about the sale of this. Yeah. And then after we'll we'll do that. We're gonna merge it all in one video. Yeah. So basically, uh, she will be for sale. Uh, for half a million euros. 
yeah, if you want the real price, <laughs> we're not gonna say it on YouTube because God knows how many wasted time yeah, tire yeah, kickers yeah. will get. Yeah. So Seb will probably put an email, probably mm -hmm. something yeah, at exactly. sales at sebdelaneyvlogs.com yeah, or yeah. something like that. And uh, yeah, go ahead and ask. You will not find a better turbo that's modified subtly and in a spec that till this day I haven't seen another one. No, literally, and trust me because I've obviously been on the market for one of these. Yeah. This is unbelievable. First of all, the color which is called crayon. Graphite blue, bro. Crayon they, sorry, yes, like that is white. a different, yeah, my uh, bad. Well, yeah, that's a slap there. to the face. Yeah. Anyway, graphite blue, that's yeah. what I meant. And with the graphite blue interior. But also, little details like this is an option, yes, having so this it's painted. Yes, all the Porsche exclusive options. Painted diffuser, yep. painted in tanks. Which, by the way, this is just so nice because else it's kind of plasticky. Yeah, if, if not, it looks like sort of a, a Dacia. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> side skirts. Yes, uh, painted. Uh, painted. Yes. It's got the the matching blue interior. Yeah, with blue interior, no sunroof. Yeah, uh, which is good if uh, just to save weight. Yeah. Um, it's got the blue, the stitching as well. Yeah, yeah, blue stitching. Blue. It has. Thank you. Hi. Uh, it has the blue carbon interior. Uh, well, what am I saying? <laughs> I was about I to say. I've lo I haven't seen you. Um, yeah. So it has a carbon interior. It mm -hmm. has Burmeister. Yeah, which is rare. Yeah. You know what's a rare thing? This many. thing has. What? It has the lane, uh, sort of lane assist or car assist. So basically, when you're driving, you have three red lights, and as soon as it sees a car, the oh, triangles. Yes. These things. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They tell you which is the oddest option on a turbo. Yeah. Uh, I've got it on mine. Well, you see, it's the oddest option. Yeah, and yours it's is so a random. Spec, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's so helpful. Yeah. Jesus Christ, it's awesome. No, it's, it's so good when you're on the motorway, yeah, when yeah. you're cruising. I think the most standout stock spec of this car are, is the seats. Yeah. So the seats, full carbon backed buckets. Yeah. They are beautiful. And they're also convenient because they're so thin. It means you get more legroom in the back. Yeah, but tons of things. Once you like recline the rear sort of seats that become like a shelf, yeah. fantastic. The car is now on Sport Cup 2s. The Trofeo R's uh, yeah. are gone. Uh, and I think it suits the, the wheel much better. Yeah, uh, so these are aftermarket. Yeah, Formula 4 race forged wheels by TechArt. Just yeah. these alone with the tires are like 10,000 euros. Yeah. And it changes forged is much better as yeah. for track use and just for hard driving. Uh, it has a Quicksilver exhaust. It's lower than HNR springs. It has a decat. It has steel brake lines. Has sports filters from BMC. It has a DMS performance upgrade. The, the list is basically long. yeah. Basically, this thing is and as like someone who's been on the market for one of these, I can tell you it's really nice. And little things like the white counters, um, the white the white. What do you call those? The white dash uh, or whatever. White, uh, it has a name. Speedo. Yeah. yeah Anyways, speedo. very nice. nice. Because the black. I don't know. You have the black. I have white. Oh, thank God. Yeah. Because the black is too somber. My yeah, opinion. we have uh, quite a few spec like similarities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got the silver seat belts. Yeah. Um, you've got the PDLS lights. Yes. Black lights. Jesus Christ, you know more than me. Oh, well, I've just, I've, I've literally been geeking out about oh, them. Oh, you little Porsche geeker, you. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. So this is, the, yeah, this is one of a kind. And if you want it, um, I was very, very close to buying this uh, as well. But then I ended up uh, coming across the one in Switzerland and timing wise, it just didn't work out. But this I, I can highly recommend it so that is that now you psycho talk to me about this thing well i was not gonna actually sell my porsche and i'm not going to just yet it's only at the right price but uh, i was one of the first buyers of an mp4 12c i remember all of you can say all you want about mclaren but the brand is eight years old first road car came out in 2012 i had a 2012 mp4 fully loaded I, the only thing I had in 10,000 kilometers, so call it circa 5,000 miles and some change, was brake pads. And it was faster than my Aventador Roadster, it was faster than anything on the road at the time. And again, I stress, it's an infant brand. They have F1 engineers behind what they're building. And recently someone got me inside a 720S. I drove the McLaren Elba yeah, as yeah. well. Oh uh, yes, I saw, yes, how yes. was that? Bonkers. Yeah. This uh, sort of virtual aero, virtual yeah. windshield. You think it's a joke, but when you're driving at about 70 miles an hour, it feels like you're getting a bulldozer in your face. You turn yeah. this on and you can have a conversation. No way. It's unbelievable. So, then I went into one of these. I realized summer's around the corner and the McLaren factory and me came to a deal and voila, Volcano Yellow. This is so, oh, that's, so that's the, yeah, I haven't looked at the color properly. Oh, no way. Okay, so that's a really rare option. Yeah, I'm so guessing. it's a uh, 720S Spider. Um, oh. It's got carbon everywhere. I'm just yeah, seeing actually, like. No, this is the performance pack comes with this. 
Okay. It has carbon fiber kit one on the interior, I believe. Okay. I believe it's a one on the interior and two and three are the exteriors. She has a one, it has the carbon sills, that's an option. Oof. Yeah. But you want to be careful not to knock these. Yeah, you have the forged carbon sort of uh, shell oh, yeah. here. Very nice. Uh, that's stock. This so, is also nice, you know, compared to 650S or 12C, the so way they made it easy. MSO, it has the MSO air vents in carbon. Oh, yeah. And check out the extended MSO paddles. Oh, yes. How gangster are those? Oh, those are very cool. Yeah. And then the yellow stitching all yeah, over. It has the Bauer and Wilkin sound system. Okay. And uh, yeah, it's Volcano So it's, it's Alcantara. All the Alcantara performances and are Alcantara. The oh, I see. The specs are leather inside. I see, I see. Yeah. And, and the roof, so do you have the glass? Yes, electrochromatic roof, which is a hell of an expensive option. Yeah, I, but yeah, I have the electrochromatic roof. <laughs> You're like, damn right I do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, uh, and yeah. It's what else? Sure. Okay, so in the front, no, I, I see. I have the simple carbon pack, yeah. which is all the air entries. Oh yeah, uh, so carbon here, but then the light. To... You, this the this only is, problem with that is if you hit it and it's carbon, you're screwed. So this was the idea. So as I go on track, and trust me, this would go on track. We'll talk more about what needs to be done because this will not stay stock. Trust mm. me. Um, yeah, I didn't need the carbon up front. I didn't want them to cut off my arm basically to uh, to get the carbon around the car yeah, because yeah. you're essentially adding something like forty thousand euros for no reason. Yeah, um, no, pretty nuts. And yeah, it's it is a weapon. It will be modified. Oh, but yeah, let's, let's not talk you, you didn't never to told me about about this one. I'm, I'm, I'm it, like, it was a last minute thing. Well, clearly, yeah. nice, nice carbon wing mirrors as well. Yeah, yeah. So it has a basic carbon exterior, but uh, 11 second roof, I believe. <laughs> that was the most random stat you just but threw it's out. It's crazy right then. <laughs> because you go up to 30 miles an hour, and in 11 seconds, whether you're inclined, moving all this, it's unbelievable technology. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. A car that has a carbon tub, it proves to how strong it is. Yeah, yeah. And, no. Uh, Say all you want about reliability, guys. Everyone has had their own experience. I've had only a positive one. One touch thing wood. I can tell you, touch wood. <laughs> uh, one thing I can tell you, I have given this car the beans. Yeah. I'm so when sure. did you get it? Recently. A week. Like, oh, you've had it a week. Oh, yeah, okay. I went to yeah, Barcelona sorry. with the turbo, but I had it a week. Oh, okay. Uh, I've given it everything. Right. It hasn't exploded yet. <laughs> yet being the key word in that sense. Sure, it's okay. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Well, sh can we go for a drive? Yeah, of course. Let's, Let's do, do that. Sport or Sport Plus? Okay, perfect. Thank you. All right, guys. I'm filming straight ahead because we've had a few comments of people saying we want to see the road in front of you and we've only got one mount so you're gonna see in front of me I'm following Masood I am in the Turbo S the reason I only have one mount by the way is because on my way here I broke my GoPro mount which is not strategic fuel stop then probably for the McLaren because I am pretty full I imagine he's quite empty I mean this is this is a pretty gangster way of filling up right here Masood 
when you're in a rush. <laughs> I just, I love holding Ooh, my look at that. First of all, I'm going to stop you there. Second of all, look at that. Did you see it? What? Maybach. Man, if I want to go and die, I get into one of those. <laughs> There you go, official review. <laughs> I'd rather drive a roller. He's telling me I need to tune my Porsche. Okay, but my question is, have you driven yours hard? Not that hard yet. Did you drive this hard? I've no. driven yours harder than I've driven mine, I think. Okay, so Between what last happened when the boost kick, kicked in? How did you feel? But it's hardcore, you just take off. Your head gets slapped against the, the You know, headrest. last time from the track, I had uh, all my neck was killing me. No way. Yeah, bro. I don't have, a, I need to start putting okay. a hands on. Okay, <laughs> just to drive around town. Yeah. I'm going to get his grocery for the hands <laughs> device. <laughs> Crazy. I'm switching the angles up. As I say, I've only obviously got this one angle. And so we're gonna go, we did that angle coming here, this angle, and then I'll just switch around. So you guys can kind of get the experience from, from both views. That's the aim of the game today. This is making me instantly want uh, an exhaust. I really want an exhaust, a quick, not Quicksilver. I would love a Quicksilver exhaust on my Turbo S. So we've got two pretty evenly powered cars. This is around 720, 750 mass set. And we know that McLaren's kind of under predict their figures, so 720, 750. So this should be a fun and pretty fast drive. This is gonna be one of those where I struggle to, uh, to speak. What a car. The grip with these tires. Just outrageous. Off he goes. There's the boost. Wow. This is one of those videos which is not going to be good for my voice because it just makes me want to scream. Outrageous. Absolutely outrageous. I did not expect this today. Lift up. Did not expect to be following a 720S in a Turbo S, which I've already driven on this road a couple of times. I open the window a bit to hear the noise a bit more and see what this is like. The response on this car really is crazy. Jump, he's going over. Your thoughts on that? <laughs> you weren't expecting me to be filming, were you? <laughs> well, that was a fun drive, Mass. Yeah, that was an amazing drive. I'm very proud of your driving skills. Thank you. Yeah, like, Thank honestly, I thought you were, um, you were one of those guys that just likes to rev your Decat Scott. No, no, no. But I you mean, actually know how to drive. Thank you. Careful the push out. Oh. oh God, that was a wide, wide line. Hello. Did you see the way he looked at us? <laughs> that was the full Elton John look. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, no, awesome. Very, very cool. I'm so, so shocked at how that puts its power down out of a corner. I think uh, it's the way they set up their suspension. And that was one of the first things that got me on a McLaren yeah. the MP4. The way the car can handle its power, and now we're talking. Oh, watch out! Compared to, isn't that one of those electric new Mercedes? No. Um, no, it isn't. No, that's just a GLC 300. No, it was driving electric there. No. Yeah. Oh, uh, maybe yeah, hybrid. Yeah, it was, yeah. Was, we could only hear the tires. Um, that's dangerous, you see. Uh, <laughs> CO2. Yeah. 2030. No more cars. Um, it, it's very different to a Porsche. The what do you have there is four-wheel drive, so you. I'm sure yeah. You felt it, you know. You, you have 700 horsepower but you have four-wheel drive and I saw you were skidding so I'm proud yeah. of you uh, but my honest opinion uh, you just shot yourself in the foot because mm. you just drove a hell of a turbo s uh, that is it's just perfect because it's so usable and I'm sure that's what you felt yeah uh, you, it's so usable, but the noise and the way it grips and when the boost comes in so that you see that's where you feel the remap yeah that, and that's where it was sliding a little bit yeah, yeah. So when I came out of a corner I was in first so what you should do and it was, is get it to first, shift second, and get boost in while you're in second. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And I've never actually driven it hard on my Cup 2s, to be honest. Uh, oh, I've yeah? I've driven it on Trofeo R's, which I killed on Barcelona's track. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you know, when I look at these two together, plus, you know, the whole matching calipers, it's quite You cool. don't want to sell it? No, because graphite blue, until you get up close to graphite blue, 
It's a hell of a color guy. Yeah, no, they really did well. It really and, I, and and also like the volcano. I love. <laughs> we're just talking about the old car and not the new one, but the volcano yellow on this is unreal as well. Yeah, with the how cool is this? Just two lads up for a drive up in the hills. No, it is, it is very cool. So you're happy with your new purchase? A hundred percent. And you know what? Respect McLaren. Um, and I know they've done a lot of things on this car uh, in terms of making it usable for the average driver. And I think that once we get it set up, sort of cambered up, exhaust it doesn't need what it does. Yeah, but have you ever heard a Novitec one? I, 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 I yeah, did like a see, road trip with a Novitec one and I it's outrageous. I this. Oh. Uh, Why not? Because you go... It's open. It will stink. Oh, yeah. I'll smell like when I had my LM002 driving around Monaco. It's like I had... Yeah, Mass Daily drove an LM002. It's like, do you like my eau de parfum? It's called uh, 98 Exhaust. Octane, yeah. you know? So. Yeah, so I guess, well, you can't decat it, but you. But uh, if you do, just the Novitec, is it a decat? Anyways, there's some uh, sort of Novitec which sounds very uh, good. There is, a, so you can have, uh, listen, I'm uh, a true Quicksilver guy. Okay. And they've done a few of my cars, and I'm sure that we'll speak to them about the 720 system. I know they coat it in a ceramic finish that brings down the temperatures and this is sort okay. of one of the problems with the McLarens they're very hot in the back okay so they bring down this sort of exit temperature I think by 30 degrees oh wait we're getting we're getting a phone call which we should answer from our friend Yoon oh okay I'll be right All back right. <laughs> okay we're back we'll see if he if he calls back that didn't work he's trying to sell me his wheels buy them <laughs> look you see that turbo there yeah so you see they're black inside instead of gray on these Oh, you mean the rims? The inside of the rims. Oh, yes, I see what rim. you mean. You paint the inner rim here black and... Could look pretty outrageous. Yeah. These wheels suit the car extremely well. Yeah, it's crazy how they're basically the same design. And they came out before. I think they came out three years before. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, it's quite crazy. Look at the, look at the ass on this one. Yeah, it's, it's pretty outrageous. That's some nice quality, isn't it? Look, this could be a thumbnail almost right here. Look at him. Oh, happy. <laughs> Look at the view. Right, should we drive back down? Yeah. I might just whack... Uh... I have some knots in my hair. Well, I'm not surprised. Yeah. We got the English one on, we didn't. No, we didn't. Yeah, we did, we... we're sitting there, no? There wasn't, we didn't do the outro. Oh, okay, well, are we filming now? Yeah. Oh, out. <laughs> Look at this view with the arse of the McLaren and the view. The arse. The arse. You know I have soft clothes. Now, you are officially getting old, <laughs> if, that, if that excites you. <laughs> I Anywho. hope you guys like my 720 and my Turbo S. <laughs> you see, you're a real YouTuber Subscribe, now. You went like, straight into the outro. Up. It will really help the channel. It will. Thank you so much. And uh, thank you for the surprise. I love the element of surprise of this. Um, and knowing you, there will be plenty more to come. To be continued, including vehicle number three. What? Oh, what is <laughs> Yeah. All I know as well is that, that there is a third vehicle. Is it here already or is it coming? It's in the parking. It's in the park. You've got it. Yeah. Oh, what the hell? Okay, well, uh, probably another video very soon then. Yeah. Your Instagram's going to be all over the screen, all that stuff, bish, bash, bosh. We'll see you very soon. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.